Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the last candle review on this uh, delightful post Thanksgiving Monday. I am so in love with this particular candle and I'm really excited to review it for you guys. Uh, unfortunately though, this was one of those Kringle, like super special release type of candles that you can no longer get. <laughs> I placed my pre-order and I did warn you guys about these. Um, these are the special like limited edition mercury glass holiday candles that were put on pre-sale at the beginning of November and they literally only poured whatever they were going to get orders for. So. I decided to pre-order several of these fragrances. Um, I picked this up in the scent Holiday. I have the Blue Spruce. Um, what was, uh, there were a couple that I received in PR as well that were sent to me. I, I don't, I, basically I think I managed to get most of the scents, not all of them, but most of them. My favorite, just based off of the fragrance notes was going to be wishing for Christmas, which is what I'm showing you guys here. And yes, I am right. Like I am almost done with this. Like I, I have been burning this like it's going out of style. So, um, I did receive one of these and it was super generous from Kringle as a PR item, but I purchased four of these on presale myself. So, I knew I was gonna love this scent and I was not wrong. I was not wrong at all. This is amazing. Now this is actually very similar to a Yankee Candle fragrance, which for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of right now, but it is a, um, a classic Yankee Candle scent that I don't believe is out anymore. If you know the name of it, please put it in the comments down below. And I know that there are a number of Yankee Candle experts here, so please feel free to share the knowledge of the original. I'm not sure if um, um, Mr. Kittredge, back when he owned Yankee, um, if he created that scent for Yankee and then uh, Mick decided to do his own take of it uh, for Kringle. Um, do let me know that history if you know it. I wish that I was better about learning the history of some of these candle companies, but quite honestly, my brain is filled with so much other just life stuff that, um, you know, you gotta figure out what you have space for and then eliminate the rest. So candle history, not my area of expertise. However, if you would like to share, please do so down below. So this is wishing for Christmas, you guys. Uh, first of all, I do love this like mercury glass finish. I just think that this screams like beautiful holiday decor. <laughs> I love these classic tumblers from Kringle for the soy candle line. And this is soy, by the way, this is their 100% soy formula. I love the very simple label that they decided to go with, just this little sticker that has the K and the Kringle. Just think it's very like elegant, a little bit more refined. I think it goes well with the mercury glass though. Um, it just, it doesn't take away from the beautiful finish of the glass itself. So this one is obviously a really nice sort of green. Um, I would call this more of like a, it looks more of like a Kelly green to me than it does maybe like a like holiday green, but beautiful nonetheless. Um, let's talk about the fragrance notes, you guys. Uh, so the notes in this, and this, it'll, uh, it, it's going to be evident right away why I pre-ordered like four of these for myself. Cookies, vanilla, sugar cane, and pine. So basically this smells like you have a fresh Christmas tree in your house and you are baking sugar cookies. That's kind of like the vibe that I get from this one. In terms of the notes that I sort of smell first or that are the most prominent to my nose, definitely the like the cookie note and it really it really is like just a basic sugar cookie. Not 
basic bad, but basic as in just your, your classic Christmas sugar cookie that you would decorate at your grandma's house, you know? Um, so a really nice vanilla sugar cookie with a good amount of sweetness and in the background, like you can smell the tree, if that makes sense. So this isn't a like pine forward fragrance. I think it's a like a more sugar cookie forward fragrance with that hint of the pine tree in the background. Um, this is not one of those fragrances that I think is going to offend anyone. This would be a fantastic option for the holidays because I do think it's quite neutral. Um, when most people, you know, go to like grandma's house, they expect to maybe smell cookies in the oven or, you know, a real tree that's decorated. So it's just one of those like classic holiday scents. that's just really, really enjoyable. And this is fabulously done, you guys. I, I think it's absolutely perfect. I don't think that I would change the concentration of the cookie to the pine at all. So to me, this is probably 70% just sugar cookie, like vanilla sugar cookie, with the remaining 30% being that pine note. It's delightful. I could definitely do with a little bit more pine, but guess what? I'm also burning a, not, a lot of other like tree scents at the same time. So I don't think that I really need more pine from this one. And I feel like most of us typically burn more than one fragrance at a time. So if you did pre-order this one and you were hoping for a little bit more of that tree to be present, um, I would say just bust out one of your other holiday tree scented candles. Uh, I'm, Kringle obviously makes several. I think Juniper and Laurel would be amazing with this. Um, I think the snow-capped Fraser would be incredible with this. There's just a lot of really great options from Kringle to pair this with, but I think just on its own, it is absolutely perfect. I wouldn't change a thing about it. So I'm really glad I got as many as I did because I do also think that I could see this one being a good transition for me after the holidays. I tend to get a little bit bummed out after Christmas and as a result, I go straight for like fruity scents or, you know, sometimes I'll do more of like the cashmere or like patchouli type scents in January and February. But I think this one is pleasant enough and not too holiday specific to where I could even get away burning this like well after I put my Christmas tree away because it just smells warm and cozy and pretty and delicious and just yummy. I, I really like this one. I mean, I would say in terms of liking it if it's on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna put this at like a solid like nine and a half i mean i don't even know what i would change about this short of the strength in the throw just a little bit now it's not bad it's right on par with what the two wick soy candles normally are um so the strength of this is a between a five and a six the throw is, it definitely is a room filler for me. So I'm gonna put the throw at about between a five and a six as well. It definitely travels a little bit outside of the direct area where I'm burning it, but it, it doesn't fill my entire house. What my hope is that uh, the sales on this did really well <laughs> and that Mick decides to bring it back next year, but in the three wick format. Could you guys imagine this in a beautiful like mercury glass three wick jar? I don't know if they're able to do that. I don't see why not because I think they actually, I don't know if they have these jars made. That might actually be a really good question to ask Kringle is, um, cause I feel like a lot of times they customize their jars in house. Um, so I'd be curious to see how they did this, but I think this would be beautiful in a three wick format as well with, with or without the mercury glass. I could see this being a really beautiful 
like typical picture label as well on a three wick jar. But this fragrance just itself, I think is a must, you guys. Um, if it ever, ever comes back, please try it, especially if you're a gourmand lover. I just think this is done incredibly well. It's delicious and I don't know, it just makes me happy. This just is the epitome of like going to a grandma's house um, during the holidays. It's warm, it's comforting, it's pretty, it's also kind of basic in a way, but delicious at the same time. So anyway, this one is obviously getting uh, two big fat thumbs up for me and I am praying <laughs> that it comes back uh, next holiday season. I just think that this is such a special scent and I'm glad that I purchased the amount that I did, um, especially after receiving the PR candle because it's just so great. In terms of overall burn performance, absolutely zero issues. So let's take a look from the top down. No sooting, no, um, oops, sorry. I, my uh, thing is hitting the tree. <laughs> There's no sooting at all. You can see that the wax is that same gorgeous color. Are you going to focus? There we go. Same gorgeous color, perfect burn the whole way down. Zero complaints. Um, I just, I don't know, this Kringle Soy formula, I am here for it. If you have started receiving <clears throat> your three wick candles and you've started burning them, Will you let me know your thoughts? Um, I'm having really, really great luck with mine, so I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying them as well. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments. And um, this will be it for the candle reviews today. I still have a lot more to come. Um, I think that I might be able to get up some more candle reviews for Thursday, but after that, we'll have to take a break for about a week because all of next week will be my holiday Decorate With Me series. And then we'll be back with the candle reviews after that. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Um, and uh, check out the description box for a link uh, where you can shop crinkle candles. Um, these, like I said, are no longer available. But if there's anything else that you want to try out from Kringle, I know that they are having some pretty incredible sales right now. And if you've ever wanted to try anything from them, definitely worth checking them out. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.